Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Magic Arena Explorer video. So today we're back playing some Control, but we're going to try some Demir Control today. Um, so this is uh, kind of the tier two of Control in the format, you know, with Azorius con Control having got a lot of, lot of its new toys from uh, from the new sets, then uh, that feels very powerful. But we are going to try some Demir because we do have some interesting cards to try um, in this particular build, which is uh, specifically the new Deadly Cover-Up card, which is a 5-mana sorcery in black that says, as an additional cost to cast this spell, you may collect Evidence 6, which means exile cards with total mana, total mana value 6 or greater from your graveyard. Then you destroy all creatures, and if you collected Evidence, exile a card from an opponent's graveyard, then search its owner's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with that name and exile them. That player shuffles, then draws a card for each card exiled from their hand this way. So this is an interesting new addition to the format, one of the few uh, unconditional wraths in black. Um, it is five mana, which does uh, kind of uh, make it a slightly more expensive than some of the other wraths you want to be playing in a control deck. But, you know, it, it unconditionally destroys all creatures, and also that collect evidence may be particularly powerful in certain uh, matchups if the opponent's very reliant on one particular creature. Um, or Planeswalker, or any card uh, that's in their graveyard. You know, you can even do a basic land if you can kind of engineer that to take all of the uh, the basic lands out of their decks. If they're a deck, if they're a monocolor deck, that could be quite fun. Um, so yeah, quite a versatile card. Um, yeah, interesting new addition. And our other new card is Deduce, which is a two mana blue instant that says draw a card, investigate. So it creates a clue token. So this is pretty simple, but um, kind of quite useful in this kind of build, just because the mana requirement is not particularly high. It's kind of two cards spread over four mana, but you um, you kind of pay, pay it two at a time. Um, so if you are passing the turn with counter magic or removal up, and the opponent's not really doing anything that's worth interacting with, then you can just play Deduce instead. Um, so that's quite an interesting addition to the deck. Then we have a couple of newer cards, um, so from recent sets, but not necessarily the most recent ones. So we have Confounding Riddle, three mana instant that uh, either lets us counter a spell unless its controller pays four, which is essentially just counter spell, or look at the top four cards of our library and put one of them into our hand and the rest in our graveyard. So not only does that let us filter our card draw, but also fuels our things like dig through time and our, um, our collecting evidence for deadly cover up. So that's a pretty nice addition to the deck in either mode. And then we have Demir Control, uh, as you'd kind of expect to find it for the rest. So we have two copies of Cling to Dust um, at a one mana, so that uh, exiles a card from a graveyard. Um, usually we'll use it to draw a card, but can use it to gain three life as well. Four copies of Fatal Push um, as one bit of our removal, but also two Shieldred's Edict and a Go for the Throat. So that's our kind of black uh, removal package. Then we've got some counter spells with Sensor and Negate. So two mana counter spells here, and then one drown in the lock that kind of exists between those two. So we can either use it as a counter spell or a uh, removal spell, depending on uh, what uh, suits us best at that time. Then our other four drops, three copies of Memory Deluge, so very powerful card selection and card advantage spell that we can flash back later. One Extinction Event, just to kind of complement the mass removal package. Um, often we will, we will need to go... Uh, kind of sooner than five mana to wipe the board, particularly if we're playing an aggro deck, something like humans or mono red or even mono green. Um, this could be pretty good. Uh, one copy of Shieldred the Apocalypse, so that's one of our creature finishers, but also um, in a format where decks like Is It Phoenix are running running around, uh, Shieldred is potentially very, very good. Then our kind of top end, we've got four copies of Shark Typhoon. So obviously we've seen this in many different control decks, um, most often using it to cycle to create a shark, but sometimes if the game's going long, we can hard cast it. And then we've got Torrential Gear Hulk as our other potential finisher, 5-6 uh, with Flash, that when it enters the battlefield lets us cast an instant card from our graveyard without paying its mana cost, so potentially allowing us to reuse a counter spell whilst also putting a 5-6 into play, and then one dig through time with its delve effect, um, so using up all of our graveyard, uh, the spells and things in our graveyard to look at the top seven cards of our library and put two of them into our hand. So those are the spells that we're running 26 lands. So like uh, like all decent control decks, we want to hit all of our land drops all of the time. Um, so a fair number of dual lands, as you'd expect. We are running a full four copies of the new Undercity Sewers. So the new Surveil land from Murders at Karlov Manor. So again, this being a control color, 
um, that makes this uh, kind of one of the better color combinations of these uh, these new lands, as you don't mind so much that it enters the battlefield tapped. And then we've got three fields of ruin, um, a few basic lands, um, some Hall of Storm Giants and a Hive of the Eye Tyrants just to help us uh, get some additional creatures potentially onto the on, onto the battlefield and, and taking down the opponent. And then a Castle Vantress and an Ottawara as well. Then looking in the sideboard, we've got a ray of enfeeblement. So this is very good at dealing with white creatures, um, thinking things like Grease Fang, but also some of those more problematic humans like uh, Adeline uh, Two Thoughtsee. So we can bring in some hand disruption if we need it. And then we've got some additional counter spells with Change the Equation, another copy of Negate, and three copies of Mystical Dispute, some more removal with Noxious Grasp. Then we are running three copies of Chrome Host Seed Shark. So this is a uh, this is a more recent addition to control sideboards. A lot of control decks are running this in their sideboards now so it's a 2-4 with flying for three and whenever you cast a non-creature spell you incubate x so you create an incubator token and with x plus one plus one counters on it so this is very good at not only kind of spitting out an army in a can in the same way that kind of a, a mini version of shark typhoon but also it's a very good way of creating tokens which get round your kind of mass removal and you can then use uh, you can then turn into creatures later then just the rest of our sideboard is one copy of Go Blank, one Kalatas, and another, and one Meat Hook Massacre, just to add that additional mass removal if we need it. This one's particularly good because it comes with life gain and uh, and draining the opponent attached as well, uh, but is a little bit slower for dealing with bigger creatures. So we can kind of modulate our our wraths to uh, depending on whatever matchup we have going on. So that is the deck, Demir Control. I'm looking forward to this one. Some interesting new cards. And as I say, it's probably not as good as Azorius Control, but we will give it a go. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching. Hit those like and subscribe buttons as ever. Always, uh, always appreciate the support. And yeah, let's go on to the ladder and see how we go on with this. Okay, we're on the draw. The opponent's taken one Bulligan. This is a decent enough hand. Oros Convoke, by the look of things, and Shieldred's Edict is an absolute horror show of a removal spell against this deck. <laughs> We're... okay. Yeah, cool story. <laughs> okay, well that was um, brief. Let's put in Ray of Enfeeblement, Noxious Grasp, Kalitus and the Meat Hook Massacre. And we'll take out uh, Deadly Cover Up and Negate. Mm, change the equation is nah, not really what we want to be doing. Um, so let's just put in Chrome Host Seed Shark instead. Take out Shieldred's Edict. And one copy of Cling to Dust. Yep, that'll do. Yes, good enough. Shortest game one on record there. Conceding on turn two. Let's kill that. We'll play Deduce. It's not terrible. So let's take that away before they start getting any value off it. Okay, they've uh, got... they've... put out their Imidane's Recruiter quite early there, so that's good news.
Okay, well, let's hit them with Extinction Event on Odd. So they're very on the back foot here, but uh, not totally out of it. They might have another Convoke creature. Looks like they do. Four creatures in graveyard, so let's drown in the lock their Thalia. Then just pass the turn. That's there. They're very dead to Loxodon. Uh, to um, Shieldred shortly anyway, so. They've got no good attacks here. Yep. So let's play a Seed Shark. Let's take out that Thalia again. And incubate. Pass the turn. That's just a case of waiting, I think. Yep. Oh, we're playing uh, Santiago. That's cool. I hadn't uh, hadn't noticed that. Oh, there we are. Two content creators playing each other. This should be a, an interesting uh, match. We'll see if it makes it onto uh, one of his videos. Um. So, well, let's put a go blank on the draw. Because they'll be he'll be on the play. Uh, I'll take out a confounding riddle. Anything else I want to do here? Negate? Probably not. Change the equation. Maybe I do want to change the equation. Actually, take out replace one of our sensors. Um, cling to dust. I mean, that does give us life gain. Yeah, let's pop that in. Take out another sensor. I think that'll do. This is actually a reasonably good opening hand for playing against Convoke. Two mulligans. Two mulligans, we like to see it. Um, let's uh, see what they do before I commit to fatal pushing anything here. Decent. Gear Hulk is not really what I want to be seeing at this point in the game. Should have played Hall of the Storm Giants there as well. Okay, well, we'll not have that cluttering up the place. So hopefully that gives us long enough to uh, do what we need to do here. I have deduced. I'm still deducing. I am playing very fast and loose with my life total. But Cling to Dust will allow us to gain some life, so it's not the end of the world. So 
So we'll take a land and we'll take a shieldred. Let's play shieldred. No to you. Not quite dead. So, is there anything I can do here? Unfortunately, this total lack of removal has come at precisely the wrong time. Um, let's play Seed Shark. Now let's cling to dust away their Imidane's Recruiter and gain some life. Let's explore on our Seed Shark. Don't need that, I don't think. Play another land. And I'm not quite dead, although I'm perilously close to dead. Okay, well, I'll take the three here. Ooh, Field of Ruins, nice, okay. So, we have some options here, so... Let's blow up their Den of the Bug there. Get a Swamp. And I think we can just pass the turn again here. Okay. Draw. Deduce. Hmm. The options are limited, but we're not out of it, so... So we've got seven mana available, so we can Chrome Host Seed Shark. We can crack a clue. Then Fatal Push their Redain. Although that leaves us dead, doesn't it? So I think I just have to fatal push one of their tokens here. Um, I think we're shocking in our lands here and hoping for the best. Okay. So let's make some tokens. <laughs> Yes to that. Now I think we're just passing the turn again. Yep, fine. 
What kind of counter spells have I got in here? I've only got a sensor. Which probably explains why this is feeling so rough. Yep. Um... Don't really want them doing more than... So we are matching them for creature for creature at the moment. So let's uh, let's draw here actually instead of making another one one. So goodbye to you. I don't like your vibes. We'll pass the turn again. <laughs> that was close. But we got there. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, this is good enough on the draw. We all know the rules. Kill the kill the bird or the mystic. Okay, gruel gruel vehicles, fair enough. say no to that, I think. I uh, don't think we want another land here. Sure. Um... Hmm... Yeah, let's get rid of the elf. They do get to crew the copter, but... Which will help them find the land they need. No, they still haven't found it. <laughs> okay, well, let's deduce. That's a frustrating counter spell to draw, but... Hey, they found it. Okay. Well, let's swap a shark for their looter scooter here. Um, now, 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 now. I don't think I want another negate here. I've got enough counter spells. So, 
Ooh, no, I don't want them to flip their, um... Stormseeker, so let's just... Kill it dead. Then they might have a, uh... Chariot that we can negate. Yep. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Now we have many options available to us. Uh, how do I feel about Inti? Just, I can live without it. Sure. I think I'll just take the block here. Okay, we are drawing proper amounts of land. By proper, I mean deeply frustrating. Blech. Uh, sure. Okay, that's quite handy, actually. So let's just cycle shark. Yep. So let's do it again. Blow up layer of the Hydra. Grab an island. Kill their storm charged whatever. Now we've actually got some decent attacks. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Two, three, four, five. That's also marginally quite annoying. Okay, well... Yes, you may have my 5-5. Five five. For now. I don't love it. Do all we have to do to survive. We go again. Let's get rid of one of their looter scooters. Two, three, four. Leave the expensive stuff in for if we need a deadly cover up. Hmm. 
Okay, now 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 we're cooking a little bit. That's more annoying. Fine. So let's destroy that. That's fun. Okay, let's Memory Deluge. Deadly Cover Up and Shark Typhoon. Uh, and we'll cling to Dust again, just because we can. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's use, uh, well, we could just use Extinction Event here, actually. That's probably better on odd. We have six mana, so not quite enough. Let's just cast Dig Through Time. One, two. Yeah, fair enough. Very much turned the corner there, so change the equation. Out for sensor, noxious grasp, out for another sensor. Go blank. Um, how do I feel about Kalitas in this matchup? Don't actually hate it, to be honest, so let's put in Kalitas. Take out one of our deadly cover-ups as we are on the draw. We stick in Meat Hook Massacre. Yeah, that's probably good for the longer game. Take out an Edict. Seed Shark? Probably not. I think that'll do. This doesn't really, this hand doesn't really do anything, unfortunately. This is a much better one, so let's pop back Deduce for now. Okay, Endless Fatal Push it is. Don't hate having cling to dust here, just as additional hand draw. Uh, huh. Okay, I can't kill that at the moment, but... So let's just target our own fatal push. Wall-to-wall hmm. -wall cling to dust. It's fine, we can take the three for the time being. Yep. really matter. <laughs> Swamp. Push. Blech. Yep. Uh, 
Okay. Well, let's get rid of one of these just so they don't have the ability to crew for the time being. Hold on to our cling to dust. Uh, yeah, let's drown that in the lock. Yes! Only three power! We love to see it. Okay. Well, let's shock this in. Pass the turn. Okay. That is a card. What does this do? It becomes blocked. Untap. It's just a. Seth, Seth, Seth. Okay. Oh well, we've got a whole, whole, whole turn to worry about that. Three, four, five. Yeah. I suppose that technically does it. Wow. Yeah, that's going to have to go. We'll pass. Send that back to their hand. Am I just dead anyway? I think I'm dead anyway. Yes, I am. Oh well, we fought valiantly there, but that is a thing. So let's have our other deadly cover up back. Uh, we will put in our other negate for their vehicles. And I think we will take out Cling to Dust on the draw. On the play, rather. Play draw. Much of the muchness. <laughs> yep, that'll do. Yeah, Edict always feels bad in this match, in this kind of matchup, just because it doesn't really doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Oh well, let's just keep them from drawing more mana sources. Oh, well, let's just pop shield rid into play here. Should give them something to think about at least. That is exactly the right draw for what they... <laughs> Cr 
for it while it's on the stack. Ah, interesting. That is not what I'd have done. So we've got quite a good extinction event uh, option now, so let's just use that on odd. Quake Mole. Okay, well. Fortunately, I don't think it makes any difference here, but... Because I'm just not going to block it. So let's just make a 1-1, one, one, just in case. Draw a card. Yep. <sighs> Two very close, interesting matches there. I think we've got time for one more. Okay, three matches on the draw. Uh, as we're playing control, that's not so bad. Now, I've definitely underrated the power of these uh, surveil lands. Uh, we will keep another land, I think. So, a little bit of uh, Racto Sacrifice. And it's off to quite a quick start, so... Ooh, let's censor that. I think we can do without that in our lives. Yeah, Fatal Push is a pretty good draw. I will just negate that away. That is fine. So let's shock in a land, pass the turn. Mm, I'm not going to fatal push this yet, I don't think. Sure, okay. So let's memory day, Lelouch. Land and Edict, I think, is fine. So let's take down Hum. The hive of the eye tyrants. Pass the turn with edict available. Sacrifice. 
I say creature token, please. We'll just discard Shark Typhoon here. Ugh. I hate it. I hate cat oven loops. I hate it all. Please don't make me do it. I have deduced. Shall continue to deduce. Um, okay, well, that's pretty good. So, push crocs, sir. I think let's cruelly wait with Gear Hulk and see what they want to do. So with all these cats flying around, our life total is looking a little dicey. Do you have to? I suppose I could negate it. Yeah, all right. Harvester combo. Okay. Bye. So we're going to five here. Which is a slow clock, but it is but it's not no clock. Sure. Okay, well, let's take down the 
goblin token. Keep passing the turn, because there's precious little else to do. But we will have a double memory deluge. A uh, seven card memory deluge, rather. So, it's something. they didn't want to keep Fatal Push. It's cheeky beyond belief, so... Uh, well, given that, let's just... How much? Ugh. Let's play Deadly Cover-Up and... Well, let's take Extinction Event and Shield right here. So, let's Extinction Event on Odd. Interesting that they let that, they let that happen. Pass the turn. Still don't have enough. Mm, still don't have enough cards to bring back, or enough blood to deal with my harvester, uh, my gear hulk. We're just about clinging on here. Killing this ASAP. So I think I'm going to have to cycle this for, let's say, four. Okay, that'll do it. We'll let them bring their Crocs back. Means I'll go to one. Doesn't look good, lads. Well, neither does that, let's be honest. <laughs> yep, that'll do it, I think. Okay, so... Change the equation is good here. Go blank hits their graveyard. That just gets stolen by Claim the Firstborn, so I think it's fine to leave that out. Shieldred's Edict's okay. 
confounding riddle, perhaps not. All of their stuff's a little cheap. Um, we'll lose. Could deduce as well. That'll probably do it. This is good enough. It's not the best. Not sure we can go to six on the play, though, against this kind of deck. Keep a push. Tough choice for the opponent here. Depends what they've got in their hand, but I'd be tempted to take the negate. It's good. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, let's deduce. Now well, let's fatal push this away whilst they don't have um the mana for deadly dispute or anything like that. Fine. Draw. Let's get rid of their thoughtsies. Hmm. No to more land, please. Please, no more land. It's a pretty welcome sight, so let's pop Kalitas into play. Keep a Shark Typhoon on top. Cannot be claimed as a firstborn. I'm attacking. And I'll take the life gain, and you'll like it. No, go away. Well, at least I can clean it away.
Well, that's a very welcome sight, isn't it? Presume they're going to deadly dispute this or something. Oh no, just trade. Oh, it's okay. I mean, I still get the, um... Okay, that makes sense. That was a... Yeah, that went pretty well for them, actually. That's quite annoying. Well, good sequence of plays, though. Though this is pretty spicy too, so let's play deadly cover up. Collecting evidence. Let's eat every copy of Croxa from there. So we've only got the one, but it's worth it to get rid of it. Yep. So let's destroy that. I do not wish to I do not wish to see you uh, right now. They currently have a handful of hand disruption spells, we'll give it a minute. Fable, it's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Fair enough. Memory Deluge. Fatal Push, Edict. Push. Edict. Ooh, that was, that was tasty. Tasty in the extreme. Oh, go away. Honestly. Um, well, I may as well cycle it. Yep, that's quite funny. I laughed. Dig through time and torrential gear hulk are both good. I'll let him take what he wants. Yep. Uh, so let's dig. We'll leave in a deadly cover up just because it's the most expensive thing in there. Edict and Memory Deluge are both fine. Well, 
they are sort of super dead here, so don't really care if they thought sees my gear hulk. I mean, obviously it would be nice to gear hulk into dig through time. That is like what you want to be doing in life, but. Typically, when I say we have time for one more, this turns into the longest match known to man. Oh well, just be a long video. Really don't think it makes that much difference at this point. Yeah. I was going to say, they're almost certainly holding on to a fatal push, but... Okie dokie. Pay your ward cost. Oh dear. Match three. Match three. Match three means thought sees. Deduce back. Sensor out. I think that'll probably do it. Yeah, sure. Well, that's aggressive, but sure. to say to that. Uh, let's get rid of the goblin token now. Sick and under city sewers into play. Ditch another land. No need for Field of Ruin yet, they don't have any creature lands. Anyone know any jokes while we're waiting? Fatal push, fine. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Doesn't feel like a hugely efficient use of mana, but... More lag. I'll just put... pop that over, over here with the other land. Hopefully we might draw into a um, deadly cover-up. 
just get rid of all of this and then also their fables. It'd be pretty tasty. If not, extinction events probably going to do some work for us. So. So let's go a card hunting. Ooh, Kling is quite good here. So is Go Blank, actually. I like it all. But what I like at the moment is to get rid of all of your odd powered, odd mana value creatures. Then we'll just hold on to Kling for as and when we need it. Cheers right now. Goodbye. How we laughed. So we got a decent amount of um mana, so we should be able to go blank next turn. Just get rid of their graveyard. And then we're kind of just waiting. Their clock is not hugely impressive, so... Yep, that's good to see. So let's discard one of our Typhoons. I don't need respect. <laughs> Just, Just don't the And we'll Divide. take the damage for now. And you lose everything. Do a surveil. These two copies of Omnixilus are going to be a problem, I think, so. S stick to the plan for now. Just clear their hand completely. Pass the turn. I think we can discard not that. We can discard one doing business with well, Let's draw with our clue before we make our decision. If it's just a land, we can discard it. Yep. By coin or carnage. Is yeah, this is gonna be tough. We've got a lot going on here. Yep. Okay, let's shark for three. Well, actually, let's shark for... Oh, we'll just shark for five. Yeah. 
Stop it. Go ahead. Plead for mercy. Mm, I'm going to keep one of these. Coin or carnage. Tribute is owed. Ah, you fell into my trap. Yep, these old Nixiluses are probably going to do for us here, but... Um... Yeah, we'll get rid of that. We'll kill one of them. The turn. Big hero. Discard. Go ahead. Plead for mercy. Yeah, what now? Ah. Oh, the opponent's draws have been unbelievably good. Kind of need a board wipe here. <laughs> mm, okay. Two, three, four, five. All right, fair enough. Ah, uh, yeah, old Nixilus did very well for them there. Never mind. Long, long match. But you're going to have to watch it all, so who's really suffering more here, me or you? But yeah, I quite enjoyed that Demir control deck. As I thought, it doesn't feel as good as Azorius control. I wasn't expecting it to, but there's some interesting dynamics and close matches. Um fun to play Santiago against that Boris Convoke. That was a very good third game. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Any variations of the above that you think it would be good. And thanks very much for watching. Hit those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, God bless you if, made it, if you've made it all the way to the end. And I'll see you next time.